Hello everyone, welcome back to Arcade Spirits. Last we left off, we were doing a lot of things, hanging out with a lot of different people, and I believe doing a lot of crazy things. Are we going to probably play this game straight on? Are we possibly going to be, I don't know less chaotic than normal? Odds are the answer is no. But that hasn't stopped us before, so without further ado, let me at least make one small You know what? I'll do it later. I think. Now if it's loading, I think I have a little time. Just a little time. How are you guys doing this Friday? Oh! Guess I didn't have that much time after all, but I'm still gonna use this for a brief moment, so if I don't read chat right away, it's not that I'm ignoring you guys. I just genuinely can't see chat. Mostly because I have a broken screen that I use to read chat every now and then. And it is busted. So, give me a second. Give me just one moment, guys. I am apologizing profusely to everyone in the future. Yeah, this fu this uh, other screen of mine is stupidly broken. Give me one more moment, guys, I promise. And I think one more location should do it. Just one more. And Abracuslois. Boom. Now I can get back to whatever it is I was starting to do because I fucking forgot. What were we doing again? Oh, right. By the way, I booked a birthday party for this afternoon. 
It's for these kids that don't have a family, you know. Orphans, I think. I think their last name's a Baudelaire. I think there might be a cancellation. They got kicked out of another home. No, we were going to have the Baudelaire's. You didn't tell me. I wanted their autograph. Wait, who are the Baudelaire's? Wait, even I don't know who they are. Their looks of confusion and outright terror on their faces. All laughter dried out immediately are vaguely concerning to me. Mostly because I don't know who the Baudelaire's are, I don't read. Unless it's the newspaper. The news is depressing. Sorry, sorry, I meant to tell you, dears, but I plumb forgot. Mostly because I just, you know, didn't know when to come back into the plot. You know how it is. Uh, a birthday party? A birthday party? Oh, dear lord. How are we going to get through this? How old are the kids, may I ask? A fifth birthday. Oh, to be young again. You know, where you can jump and land on your knees and no one will look at you funny if you hear they hear a crack because you want to land perfectly on the ground. Oh, how I miss being young and athletic. Before age takes your bone structure away. Curse you, Father Time, you bitch. F f five years old? Oh my god. The monsters. They returned. Naomi starts pulling at her hair, eyes wide and trembling. Like a bitch. Throwing ski balls over hand to the glass, jumping up and down on pinball machines, putting chewed gum into coin slots, and keep referencing Markiplier as if he's a god. I'm pulling on my costume, tearing off pieces of it, I'll look like a horrifying monster. But, I mean, you're already there with that. You already there. Naomi, Ashley, keep together. We've survived kids' birthday parties before. We drug their food. Wait, we do what now? Anyway. Doom! Doom! The end is nigh! Well, I'd hate to get in the way of all the fun. Yep, it's time for my afternoon nap anyway. Francine, you just like that Bill Hader quote from when John Mulaney hosts Saturday Night Live, and honestly, I'm here for it. You have Betty White energy with the who gives a fuck of, um, whatever that fucking character, Bill Hader, character's name is from that sketch. Have fun, dears. Goddamn. Right. Battle stations, everyone. I'll take ticket desks so I can oversee operations. Ashley, greet the kids. Naomi, watch for hardware damage. Safari, roaming duty. Look for trouble. Do what you can. Prepare yourself. And for all things holy, wear a cup. Wait, why would I need to wear a cup? Because they're gonna go for your balls, man. They're gonna go straight for the gonads. They're five. They punch where they can reach. Oh, fuck me. They're coming. Like an ongoing tidal wave, the rumble is fed before it is seen. Parents pulled into the parking lot, minivans disgorging kindergartners, and suddenly... You know, maybe some people should consider protection until they're ready to have kids. Cause these kids look like demons. Especially that one kid in the backwards baseball cap. He looks like he probably is into some arson at the age of five. 
why that kid specifically? Because the girl with the quarters, I'm just seeing her somehow putting the quarters into a tube sock. Or maybe this is from nightmares of babysitting bad children. I don't know, you be the judge. An explosion of small humans rushed the door, bursting into the arcade before scattering every which way. <sighs> oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Even before any of them could get tokens, they're grabbing at joystick smashing buttons, eager to get their game on, or even just pretend to be you know, like children do. The crew assumes battle stations. Naomi by the fragile pinball machines, Ashley near the door, trying to distract the incoming kids to greet them. Gavin, armed with pre-stacked ten dollar rolls of tokens, quickly changed them with the delts. Beats waiting in line at the change machines, that I'll tell you. As for the pro gamers, well, Queen Bee and Peo's friends bolt for the exit, abandoning them. Keen on getting out ahead of the surge of kitties, I guess. Those lucky sons of... It's all well and good, but... <sighs> I've got no idea what I'm supposed to be. Roaming duty, Gavin said. Look for trouble, Gavin said. I mean, I was doing that before, but now... Now the chaos is multiplied, because they're smaller. They're dangerous, because they're small. For a few minutes, I'm like a bounced around, or like that frog trying to cross a highway of traffic. What's that game called, where you're a frog, and you're trying to be a dodger for the traffic lights and whatnot to get to the other side of the road, where you're more of a dodgery frog. I think it's Frog Dodger. I think that's the name of the game. Eventually, I spy three possible problems on your eyes. And it's very professional. Floor attendant. It's ready to attend to them. Okay, that was fucking weird. Which one of these should I tackle first, though? I may not be able to deal with all of them in time. I don't know. Two kids fighting over a box of cupcakes, and your adults shouting at kid, at a kid near Pale and Queen B. Little girl crying over is by Percy and Get. Mm, I'm gonna help with the cupcakes. It smelled disaster from the wind. It smells sweet. As in, I can smell that box of birthday cupcakes one of the parents left near the ticket's desk with children swarming around it, scavenging for their favorite icing colors. At first, my inner child was merely offended that someone thought one of those icy blobbed cupcake cakes was superior to actual cupcake cake. Well, actually, birthday cake in the form of a cupcake. You know those weird birthday cakes that actually just cupcakes in the form of a cake cake? You know, I'm not going to really go into that whole thing with you, but there were clearly larger issues at stake than that. I want a chocolate! Don't take all the chocolates! Oh, I know exactly how you're going to grow up. You're going to be that one child that's a little bit bratty, and then you grow up, you feel like you can still be bratty until you reach a certain part in life where you look back at your life and you're just like, damn, I was kind of a bitch. I've had friends like that, that I grew up with, and I've also uh, directed for people that have been like this and are in the middle of that transition. I want two cupcakes. Give me two cupcakes. Oh, look, it's the little arson boy. I don't know why I think he's an arsonist in training. I think it's the fucking cat, bro. No fair. Everybody gets one, and mine's gotta be chocolate. Girl, I don't know which one's chocolate. I'm not the cupcake police. Do I look like I have a ferret named Sprinkles? Do I look like I'm a blue 
dark-skinned woman with demonic horns that throws missiles in books. Yes, missiles in books. Of course, the kid at the front grabs the last one. Finders, keepers, losers, weepers. <laughs> God, this is why I'm glad all my kids are grown. I am so happy all my children are grown. You have no idea. Uh... Okay, I'm gonna ignore that one summons because I fucking refuse to, uh... Watch that while I'm doing a stream. Also, because if I were to watch that shit right now, I'd probably get, you know, reprimanded by stream. Do that in this one thing. Okay, phone. Thanks for behaving. The parents aren't paying attention, as always. They're too busy complaining about their jobs and the weather and the PTA and stuff, as per usual. Meaning, when the first cupcake is thrown, nobody is there to stop it. This is why certain people should not have kids. Because they want to act like we, as employees, have to fix their children. And then that's how kids end up hating adults, and certain ones end up with a complex. And after that, some of them kind of grow up to want to do certain things to get approval that ends up very problematic. Is this me projecting, or is this me doing stuff from a psych class that I did? I have no idea anymore. Ah, stop it, stop it. I want chocolate. I want to die. As blobby wads of icing and sponge cake go flying, I glance over to the coin up games. Which are about to get caught in the crossfire. Naomi, who is busy trying to unjam a joystick, one of the kids waggled too hard, looks up to see the cupcake onslaught coming her way. As does Ashley, whose fuzzy costume is a nice and inviting target for flying confectionery. Act fast. Uh, I'm already on too many good levels with Ashley. I gotta. Quickly, I hurled myself into the action. Get down, Miss Naomi. Damn, they made him way too short. But again, this is him as which could never happen. Numbness sets in as multiple rounds of frosting coated mor mortar fire impact against my body. When I finally hit the ground, my clothes are totally ruined. But alas, my noble sacrifice could not save them both. What? No! My costume! Pinky, the funplex flamingo, is now covered in a wide variety of icing colors from across the visible spectrum. Zephyri! No! You're so young and pure! Naomi, it's... <coughs> it's... so cold! The, the icing! I, I think they placed this in the fridge too long! Lay still! I don't want you to die on me! Wait, is this me? Like a new man now that everyone's fooding! No, I'm, I'm not dying. The, the icing is just kind of cold and sticky and gross. I, I think, like I said, it was kept in the fridge too long. 
Oh. By this point, the lackadaisical parents had finally noticed the pastry wars and are busy rounding up the combatants for various scoldings. <laughs> Man, my costume's just wrecked. You get out of this ASAP and put some stain treatment on it. Safiri, can you cover the floor for me? Considering it's my fault you were caked. Absolutely. Eh, it's not your fault. I mean, I guess the games cost more than my fuzzy felt. I'll be back ASAP. Thank you. That was so nice of you. And so, so brave. Okay, it was just cupcakes, but still, that was so brave. You saved the game we worked on together. Actually, I... It, uh, t uh, sorry, those cupcakes really messed up my whole sensory. It's only now that I noticed the joust game that was protected from a severe and sustained cupcaking. I'm Naomi's hero for the day. She's smiling at me. Expectantly. What cupcakes? Oh, you missed it, Nocturne. A bunch of five-year-olds were throwing cupcakes. I had to choose between saving Naomi and saving Ashley. I chose Naomi, because Ashley's costume creeps me out. Quickly, Safiri, say something cool! Um... If we were cornered in a cold, dark alley on a horrible night, ass assaulted by goods. I'd happily take the sugary hit for you. You get those cupcakes, Nocturne! Well, in the amazingly unlikely event of exactly those circumstances happening, it's good to know I have someone protected me. Son of <laughs> Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> My knight in shining icing. <laughs> that sounds gross. I better finish up my work here and get out of the way of the party. And you've got more work to do. Good luck. The brief nod from Gavin, I snatch one of the official Funplex t-shirts to replace my cupcake top. After a few minutes in the bathroom to change and wipe icing off of my pants, I'm ready to go again. Right. That's that sorted. The other two is... One of them. Which one? Percy and Gavin will be fine. The sounds of harsh of hardship called me from the Fast Cars 5 racing game. Shouting adults and crying children are never particularly good signs, and I hope beyond hope that I can take this on. I shake the discomfort off. Now's not time to doubt myself. I need to find out what's going on and stat. As I get closer to the Revving of engines and the clacking of shifting gears. I see a grown woman berating a cowering boy. I mean, Nocturne, you are not wrong, but I need this paycheck. <laughs> I didn't. Oh, God. Um, ladies and gentlemen, we have a Karen. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a Karen here. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a Karen at aisle one. She's son. Everyone, please hide the manager. I repeat, please hide the manager. That's the oldest looking ten year old you've ever seen. Oh boy. Wait, which one? The one with the hat or the one behind the ginger? That's also ginger. Wait. Admit it. I know what you did, you brat. Oh, the boy with the hat. Yeah, he does look like he's 25. You manipulated my precious son to put his tokens in your game. You should be ashamed of yourself. 
you are the absolute worst. God, whoa, 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 whoa. Now listen, I don't care for other people's kids. Do I approve of how certain people raise kids? Absolutely not. But that's none of my fucking business. How they raise their kids is their own. But you don't get to call someone else's child garbage. Not when you got that piece of shit behind you, gaslighting this 25-year-old munchkin from the land of Oz. Why are Karen's earrings shaped like the ends of tubas? That's a good question. Maybe we'll find out in the, uh, the DLC game I'm buying in two weeks. Who the fuck knows? Um, ma'am... Keep your voice down, there's no need to shout at a ch child, no less. I mean, you can shout if it were a small, grown adult that was the size of a child, but then we'd also have to call the police, and I really would not like to have the police here. You understand? Anyway, what's going on here? Okay, I have no idea what the hell is going on here. 25 year old munchkin, already losing his teeth. That boy is gonna be a wreck by the time he's 30. I mean, yeah, yeah, he do. He do got that whole, I'm gonna be very gummy at 30 kind of lifestyle. This jerk of a boy told my sweetest beyond sweet Joshua that he should put in his own tokens into the racing machine so he can play it for free. Um, ma'am, have you ever thought that your son was lying? I mean, he is like five or ten. So the concept of Lying might actually be a thing. Joshua earned those tokens from his own allowance, and I won't let some devil child steal his money. Um, again, ma'am, have you thought that your child was lying to you so that he could get more of the token money from you? I'm just a saying, so, uh, some kids should not be trusted. And looking at your son, he looks like he's not trustworthy. Let's just take a moment to calm down, okay? Please. Before I say anything else, I spot Queen Bee and Tail out of the corner of my eye. Queen Bee looks infuriated and tail is buried his face in his hands. Actually, now that I stop and think about it, they might have some insight. Some games are right next to Showtime stage. Tail probably has a good vantage point of the whole thing if he was dancing on stage. And just by the way, Queen Bee's brows are furrowed. I can tell something is not sitting right with her. I can ask one of them for their help. Or I could try to solve this one by myself. Yo, it knocks her and I'll let you pick. Should we talk to Queen Bee? Should we hit up Teo? Or should we solve this ourselves? Another good question. What man slept with two-beard ginger Karen lady to make that ginger head gaslight of a child she has? So many questions to answer on tonight's episode of Dragnet. <laughs> God, I sound like I am definitely older than 30. We got the- You sure? You sure, Nocta? You, th you think we got this? This isn't doubt. Th I'm just j Like, do you really think we got this? Because I have no idea. I got no idea. Just slap a bitch in the week. <laughs> oh, 
You know what? I'm gonna close my eyes and let the clicks do the talking. Okay, we did go with Nocturne's suggestion. Cool. I literally closed my eyes to just be like, click, 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 pow! It's time to put on my Sherlock cap and figure this mystery out. The scene. Fast Cars 5 racing games in the darkest corner of the Funplex. Approximately 6 p.m. EST. Crime. Theft via extortion. The accused, the crying boy. The facts, what have gathered thus far, she claims the boy tricked her son into putting his tokens in the boy's game. Let's delve a little deeper, shall we? Ma'am, I'm with the arca arcade staff, and I'm here to help. You see, I know you're upset right now, especially with your tuba earrings, but if you could please stop shouting, I'm sure we can get this all sorted. She calms down She calms down enough for me to ask a question. Have you actually asked the boy his side of the story? Why would I do that? My little baby Joshua has all of the correct answers. So he's obviously a thief. I mean, look at his hat. Look at the fact that he looks like a grown man as the size of a child. I don't trust the tiny people. That size is second of all, that sounds very, very strange. And a liar, probably. The sweet silence. Gone. And the boy appears as if he's about to burst into tears again. There's no way to make this lady see reason unless I do something. Yo, fuck it! Yo, no! It's time to use a true and tried tactic among all detectives. Reverse psychology. See, the only reason I'm doing this is because I've learned this through conflict resolution thanks to certain certain psychological classes I'm taking cuz your boys trying to learn to be you know a therapist slap a bitch is the offensive correct answer but the game omitted you should find that as a bug <laughs> listen I love the bugs I can't style on them I can't dance on someone's grave and I can't slap a bitch those are three bugs already. I, I like styling on them. Unplayable. Disconnecting. Undownloading. Getting my refund. <laughs> Since she's shouting, I need to speak softly and talk, to her, talk her down. It'll force her to stop and think so she can actually hear me. I'm going to be speaking in a hushed tone. It's only fair to hear the boy's side. This could all just be a genuine misunderstanding. Please? Imagine thinking that Karen's th Yo, that's, that's a novel thought. Karen's thinking. That's adorable. Taking advantage of the moment, I crouch down next to the crowd to console him. Hello there, little man. Wait, is that stubble? Anyway, I know this is very tough for you, but could you tell me what happened? I, I need to hear all sides of the story. The boy hesitates for a moment. I didn't. I didn't swear. I didn't do anything. All I wanted to do was play fast guys. Everybody came up out of nowhere and dropped his tokens to my star. <laughs> After I lost, I got off the game and off its 
to him. Cause I'm trying to be, you know, very uh, considerate. But he just ran away. And just the facts, kid, treat me like I can haul your sorry old looking behind the J. Cause maybe I can. I'm Joe Friday. God, I say this stuff and people honestly say I do not sound like I'm 30. God, I sound decrepit to certain kids and that upsets me. <laughs> Nocturne is an intergalactic cop. We have established that in the world of Dragon Ball Xenoverse. And that does explain everything involving the talkies. I turn back to the lady. See, it was all just a simple mistake. That boy is claiming my Joshua's a liar! Unacceptable! He could be making it all up just to protect himself. You have no proof. As much as I... Believe the crying boy, she does have a point. I don't have any proof, and that's the only thing I need to find. I'd take a second to formulate my next thought, and then spot a camera dangling from the corner of the ceiling. Aha! We can check the security footage. Yes, do that! Then you'll see how my Joshua was wrong. My precious little baby just. <laughs> Mommy will make sure you get all the privilege. Hold on just one moment, ma'am. I'll be right back while you creepily kiss your son, giving him the whole Norman Bates treatment. You mean this arcade doesn't have a fingerprinting ki Yeah, I don't know. I kind of want to quit this job now. We don't have detective work on our resume. Fuck this place. I run back to the employees only area and over to the small bank of security monitors. I find the one that's pointed at the Fast Cars 5 game and spent a few moments rewinding the time of the crime. Galton, let's see the crime boy story. Checks out, actually. It appears that Josh put the token in the right I can understand. They're stacked vertically and it's not clear which slot is for which game. I rush back to the scene of the crime and quickly tell them the results. And uh, this boy even got out of the driver's seat and offered it to Josh. But Josh just ran away after that. So as you see, no one's at fault there. So let's all apologize and carry on. Jace? Okay? Okay? Hmm. I do not accept this. I would like to speak to the manager. You are taking this thief's side over my precious Joshua. Joshua is a good boy and doesn't deserve to be treated this way. Joshua, Joshua, get over here. We are leaving this horrible, horrible arcade. Imagine thinking Karens give apologies. <laughs> right now! I didn't see that one coming. The woman child and storms out the front door. Yo, for all it's worth, we did a, we did do a good job. So Nocturne, his decision, it was destiny. We can do this by ourselves. I don't think we'll see her or son anymore, and frankly, I think I'm a deal. How are, how are you doing? Are you okay? Hey. I think I'm okay. The, bo the boy nods, wiping his snotty nose on his sleeve. I'm sorry this whole thing happened to you. But if it's any consolation, the bad lady is gone, and I don't think she's going to ever come back. The boy, cheeks still streaked with tears, lets a smile spread on his face. You. The boy scurries off and rejoins some of his other friends. Case closed. Two problems in the can. Now to deal with 
that crying boy by the by the ski ball machine. Oh, she's gone. Well, fuck. Percy looks up briefly from clearing level six, uh, 78 of Moopy. Gee, Lord. Looking for that girl. I think her parents took her home. Party turned sour for us, Faves. Great. I wasn't fast enough. You can't be everywhere at once, Sophia. Cheer up, love. You're still doing better than last guy who stood at your post. Second, I mean, I'm. Look at me. I can't be as talented as some people. Like, did you see him before? Top 100 richest men. I can't keep up with that VR Nocturne and his Tentacle Island Empire. That smug, smug son of a. I can't believe an intergalactic cop can also own a conglomeration that's now almost as big as Amazon. That son of a bitch. Hey, Gavin, are you okay? I'm just jealous, okay? <laughs> <laughs> this is what happens when my own community just lets me do shit. I just. I run rampant. I run ra Cause I'm a fucking heathen of a human being. <laughs> I saw you deal with that obnoxious parent with the cupcake war. You did well today. I mean, you still have your pants that looks very sticky, but you did fine. You did well. I give you a gold star if I had stars on me. All I have is just hundred dollar bills. They're mine. <laughs> I just can't wait to see the dead. <laughs> I <laughs> Seeing Gavin actually smiling is... Well, quite frankly, it's weird. But I'm not going to say no to praise from my sub-boss. sub -boss? That just sounds delicious. If things seem to be cooling down, I suggest you take a few minutes in the break room while there's a lull in the action. Ashley and I will handle things for now, and she can swap off when you can when you come off. Okay, I kind of had a stroke, and she can swap off when you come back. Mm-hmm. Percy ducks out of the conversation without actually moving anywhere, refocusing on his game. I could use a few minutes. Yeah. Thank you, Gavin. Heck. Getting praised by the head slave of the floor is almost like getting praised from the owner of the... You are not wrong, Nocturne. You are not wrong. And the fact that it's also Black History Month now kind of makes that a little bit fucking hilarious, but also a little bit fucked up in hindsight. <laughs> I slip away, heading for the employee lounge. Wait, since it's February, can I also mention how a little bit fucked up it is that Black History Month is, you know, on like the shortest month of the year? Or is that too out of pocket to still say? In other words, classic nocturne. Ba -ba 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 -da -ba -boo. But seriously though, is it weird to still say this year after year that's a little bit fucked up that Black History Month is on the shortest month of the year? I'm just saying, like, it's a little bit fucked up. A little bit fucked up. Not, you know, fuck, it's a lot, a lot fucked up. It's a lot, a lot fucked up. I don't like it. I, I don't care for it. We We need to do better. But that's just me. Either we gotta add some months in, or we gotta add some days to February. I don't know what. Just, just we gotta do better. That, that's just me. I, I don't know if I'm just out of pocket. I don't know if people wanna say I'm trying to be woke when I say this every year. But I'm like, bruh, everyone else gets like a whole 30 to 31 day celebration. 
Why do black people only get 28 days to have their history told in a small compartmentalization thing? Again, I don't care if this makes it sound like it's out of pocket. I'm just saying. Anyway, before Twitch gets me canceled and I gotta start all over again from scratch. What a day. Quacky co-workers that are kind of cute. Diehard pro, um, pro gamers, where one looks very adorable. Volatile kids getting into volatile situations, making me wish I had a vasectomy. I'd say it's a recipe for wackiness, or some such cliche, but nothing's an easily dismissible cliche when it's happening to you directly. Frankly, I'm exhausted. Safiri, I don't want to fucking hear it, okay? I worked basically three straight weeks of nothing but work. I only had one day off. And it wasn't even a day off. It was me being off from three in the afternoon until one in the afternoon the following day. That is 22 hours of freedom. That's it. So I don't want to fucking hear it. I dropped one of the cheap folding metal chairs in the employee break room, break room, groaning and rolling my head back to try and work the kinks out of my sore shoulders and spot an upside down child. Um. I want to take a paternity test. No, oh, wait, I'm... Sorry, I'm, I'm the one leaning backwards. Yeah, I don't know, Nocturne. Maybe the artist didn't know how to draw kids. Yeah, maybe the artist just didn't know how to draw kids. Like, the tears look like eyes, their faces look like adults. It's a little bit disconcerting. I sit up and turn around instead. Alright, that's better. Wait, what's a kid doing back here? Uh, hey, um... I think I was hoping I wouldn't notice him. Um, uh, hi. Hi. And the Jawar? Mikey. Okay, that's a start. Um, hi, Mikey. My name's Safiri. So, um, this is very awkward. What are you doing back here? This is an employee's only area. Wait, the keypad, how'd you get in here? The guy at the desk dropped this. He holds up a piece of paper with the door code written on it. Ah, oh, score one for Ashley's wild storytelling being more in fact than fiction. Okay, but you can't stay back here. It's, uh, I don't see any knives or stabbing implements left. So I guess it's technically safe, but... Please don't send me back out there. I have to send you back out there. But, uh, this is curious. I lean in so we can be on the same eye level. Something wrong? You can tell me. I work here. I'm the guy who solves problems. No, no problems. Just don't want to go out there. Don't you want to play with your friends? And he gives me the most cynical, bitter laugh I've ever heard come out of a kid in a gardener. I don't got any friends. I don't know anybody here. Upsetting, but here to thing. Kid in a gardeners make friends faster than adults do. A friend when you're in kindergarten is the fastest thing. Because you're so accepting of everyone. 
adults, we're just like, we ain't fucking friends just because we hang around the same circle and we talk and we enjoy ourselves. Bitch, we ain't friends. Go fuck yourself. Like, we will find any excuse not to make friends. Kindergartners can make friends like that. Like, that is... Wow. My family just moved to the city. And before that, we lived in another city. And one more for that, but I was too little to remember. See, again, kid, that's sad, but, um... You're in kindergarten. You'll find friends. <laughs> if not, you'll probably make friends with that one kid that eats paste in the corner. We all knew that one kid in kindergarten that ate paste. And if you didn't know them, but someone befriended you anyway, odds are you were another kind of weird kid in the classroom. If I were allowed to have any sort of, uh, big thing. Oh, like Nugget on oh, that game called Kinder Yeah, Nugget just ate paste, but still had friends. Mom told me to come to the party anyway, and I didn't want to, but she took me anyway. And then she left, because she's got to work. Oh man, what you wanted to do, not work, so you don't have a house? No kid in town, huh? I've been there. He nods mutely. Still, I should have busted him there and then, brought him back out to the party where the other parents could have supervised him. Should have told to enforce the rules of the arcade. Okay, kid. Just between you and me, I won't tell on you. If you want to stay back here for the rest of the party, I'll keep you company. <laughs> Thanks. You really won't tell me, Mom? Nope. But why? I thought you'd want to make me go. You're an adult like Mom. Hey, I wasn't always an adult. I was a child too once. Once. Many an eon ago, when the stars were new, and my father sent me out into the void to land across the ever-growing body of Gaia herself. Oh wait, you're still here. Sorry, sorry. Why? Why are you still here? What? What's going on here? Oh right, I'm, I'm human. I'm human, Jace. I'm totally not a, a, a demi primordial to incinerate the rest of the world. Wait, sorry, human child, what was I doing for you again? The new kid in town, in fact. Jace, Jace, that's what we were talking about, being the new kid in town. Jace, Jace. You were the new kid? Wait, what was that stuff before you were talking about? Yes, although for me that started happening back when I was 10. Okay, what, what was that? Very disturbing and kind of horrific stuff you were talking about. Again and again, moving from town to town, school to school, never really making any friends. Not for years, anyway. Mom and Dad kept losing jobs and taking new ones, worse ones. They'd be working all day long, too tired when they came home to do anything much of anything else. After years and years of this, I stopped hoping things would be better. I decided I'd just take what I could get to go with the flow. Well, what's that mean? And why are you ignoring my first question about the horrifically disturbing stuff that you... It means that you don't really care. Some things are good. Some things are bad, but you don't care. You just do what you have to do without really being sad over it. But that sounds so sad. You weren't sad? It's sad to never care about anything, right? A 
okay, who the fuck is trying to have, like, a cathartic moment while making this game? Because I feel like someone wanted to call out someone when they made this game. I guess I was sad. I just told myself I wasn't going to even though I really was. And then I bit my tongue hard. Because my little involuntary trip down memory lane was not helping this kid out. Would have helped little Safiri out if an adult did this for me. So instead, I decided to be the adult that little Safiri would have needed. Bruh, I don't know. What the fuck can you say to a kid like this? Do you be funny? Do you be logical? Do you be caring? Do you just be brash? Fuck this option. So I'm like... Eh. I mean, I like being compassionate. I don't know what it is, so... You know... Your, your mommy loves... Like, she loved you very, very much. And now as a kid, I was, well, I was mad at my parents for moving all the time, taking different jobs. It made things very hard for me. But now that I'm older, I know they are, well, I should say rather, that they were working hard because they loved me. They wanted the best for me and were doing their best to get it. Life can be hard. Sometimes it's just no fun. But there's no one thing that's... But there's... Actually, let me correct myself. There's one thing that's always there. And that's love. They love you. He shoots me a doubting look. One of those little doubting looks when, where they don't want to outright call something a lie, but can't quite swallow it. Mikey, if your mother was sad, what would you do to make her happy? I mean, if you had to go to school an extra two hours a day, would you do it? I guess. That's what she's doing. She's working very hard because she wants to make you happy. I'm not happy being alone, or moving all the time. Neither is she. But she knows if she works hard one day, she won't be alone. She won't be moving all the time. I was the new kid, remember? But now I have a home with my best friend and a good job. I work in an arcade. I mean, how cool is that? Wasn't easy and... My parents were often sad. I was often sad. But we pulled through and sold you. Just remember, she loves you and you love her. That'll get you through the sad times. Huh. It's not a great answer. It didn't solve the problem. But it does make things a little easier on Mikey. With his long sigh, I can tell that he, from what I could really feel in the air that he was releasing his sadness before offering a small, si a small, almost sincere and silent smile. Not a big goofy grin, not the height of happiness, just simple understanding. I love mommy. I don't know why, I just have no feelings towards this child. This is probably just me being like, I didn't give birth to this kid, fuck him. Hey, but Vince, you're a guy. Yeah. Yeah. I can still say a lot of weird shit on the internet, because I like being weird and awkward.
Well, not awkward. No one likes being awkward, except for people that brand themselves as awkward. Which, in and of itself, can be awkward. It's sad. A lot. But, I know it's not always sad. And even if she left me here, I know she's coming back. Hey, you know what, Mikey? You still got some time to enjoy the party. Even if you don't want to talk to the other kids, there are a lot of games you can play, eh? And hey, maybe you'll get to know someone while playing a game. Our kids are great for that. I'm sure a lot of them have sad times too. And they can use someone to play with. Someone who understands. Thank you. Okay. I want to play skee-ball games. I'll spot you a few tokens. Let's get you rolling. I take his hand, lead him back out to the main room. And off he goes. I'm not fooling myself. I know I haven't fixed all of Mikey's problems. I'm no child psychologist. I was entirely me flying by the seat of my pants, but for one moment there, I was able to help someone in the same crappy situation I found myself long ago. Fifteen years ago, everything changed. No more family vacations, no more arcade visits. I couldn't afford them. They couldn't take time off from work. Ah, uh, okay. The whole Musa family had to learn to settle. To accept the lot in life we've been dealt. To simply go with the flow. Never hoping. Never wanting. Juniper did her best to pull me out of that mirror. I'd only known her a few years. One of the few stable times in my life, but she knew the edge I'd been pushed to. Now, here I am. Today has been, well, bonkers. Alternatively boring and hectic. Surreal and way too real. But I can honestly say I'm more alive today than I have been in a very, very long time. Beep, beep. Oh, hell no. Beep, beep, Zephyri. Hmm? My emotional voice analysis subroutine and with your body language just you're very happy right now. Yeah. Yeah, I, I guess I am. Wait, how'd you know? I just told you, silly. I stalk you. But you are a phone, that's not really stalking. I also went through all of your emails and your internet search history for- Okay, that's enough searching through my stuff. But, uh, how did you know I'd love this job so much? I, I mean, that was very out of the blue. Oh, I know. Oh, that's easy. I didn't. The, what, uh, what? I lied. I was 47% sure. All it was elements that seemed to click with your optimal social requirements. A fun atmosphere, spirited co-workers, helping people out, and so on. Also, I cross-referenced your roommates posted, uh, postings talking about how much you enjoy arcade visits for a kid. Still, 47%. 99.97%. But I was 99.97 sure that if I said I was 99.97% sure, you'd be willing to give it a try. Yeah, I'm just gonna uninstall Alexa, Siri, and Iris after this. Cheers.
here. Another thing to thank Juniper for, I guess. You're a very little weird app, you know. I try to be. Wait, what? You you're happy about that? D what? Confusion. Set in the play. I am so lost. Ah. Uh. I now figure out what's wrong with Twitch. One of my friends probably was sick of my alerts. From the cars pulling up to the parking lot, it looks like the party is over. Just about time for the arcade to close. Most of the gamers have filed out by now. If they haven't already fled the tidal wave of kitties, my first impulse is to go bug Gavin about my paperwork, but uh, I can wait. I'd rather go help someone with the tidying up or maybe see how our VIP gamers are doing. I don't have time to run around checking in with everyone, though. Who do I want to hang out with? Tapping his tab. Maybe she could use some company. Prying gum out of the. Seems like she's ready to cry. Packing up her gear, ready to go home. Going down with some fast cars, five for a day. And is ready to leap. You know, this is a Naomi route, I suppose, so I think the best option to do is to completely go against it because that goddamn costume haunts me and I gotta figure out why the fuck she's repairing that co- I'm just kidding. Naomi's definitely, Naomi definitely looks like she could use a hand. Someone's jam bright pink bubblegum to a coin slot, just trying to clear the sticky mess out. How could they? How could they do this to a poor, innocent little Cubert? I mean, Cubert as a game kind of sucks, so... I get it. Because again, Cubert sucks. Like it severely does. Hey, need the hand? Oh, thank goodness. Yeah, work on the second player slot for me. I've got swabs, and i got fire, and stuff in my toolkit here, and more fire. Grab what you need. Mostly fire. How frustrating. Honestly, the nerve of those kids. No respect at all for these games. I work so hard to restore them, and then they get ruined by children. Games aren't like chew-proof, machine-washable baby toys. They're delicate and deserve love and care. Oh my god, I know the exact person this is. And it surprises me that Naomi is someone that I'm interested in gaming-wise. 
but they are kind of still toys, right? Well, yeah, I mean, of course, just, you know, they're also works of art. <laughs> I mean, not everyone sees it that way. Back in the 80s, operas were just, just throwaway games that didn't perform well anymore. In the end, an arcade has to make money. That means using and abusing a game until it's time to put it out to pasture. That, that actually just sounds depressing. It made me sound depressed for games. I don't like it. Also, speaking of stuff that was put to pasture, you guys thought I forgot about my backlog, but... Tomorrow! How does everyone feel about me finally going back to Lost Judgment? I know I should probably go back to... God of War Ragnarok, but hey, I miss being a detective so much, I do, and although I've beaten the game in my own private time, I still owe you guys a satisfactory conclusion like what I judgment a few years ago, mostly because I want more of an excuse to beat up people in the streets of Kamurocho and the rest of the world of Yakuza itself, or like a dragon as the official title itself is called. So I hope you guys are excited for that. But I don't have to like it. Right? Of course not. You love these games. You shouldn't just let them be abused even if they do have to make money. Next time, you see some kid smacking it. Oh god, that was actually alright. Wait, you got... It was fun getting the number... You got the number one share prize? Yeah, that is fun. Thanks, Sifiri. It's good to know someone got my, someone's got my back. Uh, bro, I was not even paying attention. What did I do? Still, I need to be realistic, right? Ah, uh, I see. Gotta do what you gotta do to make sure the the shareholders shut the fuck up. I know this isn't a museum. We aren't preserving priceless treasures for generations to come. Well, arguably, as an arcade operator, you are technically in a living museum for stuff. That is true, Nocturne. You are that in real life. In fact, I should probably go to you more for day trading advice, but I'm always tired, and when I get tired, I get forgetful. sucks. Anyway, sometimes I treat it like my own little private collection, but really, I do want people to play and enjoy these games, and that does wear them down in time. As long as I'm here, though, I'll pick a game when it wobbles on its feet, dust it off, straighten it up, and send it out there to be played with all over again. With last of the gum pulled out of the slot, Naomi closed up her toolbox. I should probably pull the coin mechs completely and entirely and give them a good cleaning tomorrow, but I didn't want to let the gum sit overnight. I'm heading home soon, so I'll see you tomorrow. Right? You got it, Naomi. Oh, great! And she gives me a big hug before bounding off to her workshop. Heart skips a beat in the head. LD resumes, already in progress. With things winding down, there's just one last thing to take care of before I'm out the door. I seek out Gavin to handle the remains of the day. Safiri, if you're done basically trying to get into women's pants, I want to talk to you about business. Good work today. Hey, thank you, boss. Uh, mini boss? Mid boss? Sub boss? 
Secret boss. Gavin will do. Hmm. I can't say you've been a perfect employee, but my standards are impossibly high, so I'll just uh, assume you are as close to perfect as is reasonable. As long as you didn't pee in the corner and try to harass Carl, the midget in the rat costume, too much, we're all in good terms. <laughs> Unfortunately, the cost of cleaning our carpets and costumes after the cupcake assault will be a chunk of change. But, I suppose you did all you could there. Normally, I'd have dealt with angry parents myself, but I was distracted. I have only second-hand accounts of your performance there, but, I have to say, good work. Think of that situation by the driving games took skill. You've got to the heart of the matter, right to the truth even if she refuses to see it. I'm not pleased that you sold our Moopy for only a thousand dollars. Not three thousand, as I requested. Gavin, we only paid two hundred bucks for that game. I'd be ripping off a customer. A customer with ex exponentially deep pockets? I mean, the man is loaded and he's British! Those are my criteria for people I f Anyway, and one who squats on the game all day, spending only a handful of change in the process. If anything, 3,000 is what we'd need to make up the loss of Jesse being so moopy obsessed. Gavin, who hurt you? What's more? Why is... Why it's still here is a good question. Was it not clear I wanted it gone? Firstly, didn't want to break up the family. They're machines, Safari, not people. He also didn't want Naomi to be sad. Yes, well, Naomi needs to learn to let go, I'll say. Ahem. Are you giving our poor little Safiri a hard time, Gavin, dear? Because I can bring out Mr. 2 by 4 again, if you want to go back to the hospital. You know how I feel about little bitches in my store, Gavin. Do you want to be caught up on Grove Street on WorldStar.com? No, Francine, I, I don't want... To go back on World Star for another beating from an Damn right you don't, little bitch. Now fix your vest, too. You look like a dirty version of Steve Harvey. That. A anyway, I thought you were napping, Miss Francine. Let's be sensible. Naomi's dreams matter, too, as does the dream of Percy, that poor fellow. Although he definitely offers up a great beard ride. We had a, a great what now? Don't bother asking. Paul, isn't Percy, like, stinking rich? Everyone has a dream they're chasing. Gavin, I know you mean well, wanting to keep everyone's dreams afloat. But sacrifices made in that name which shatter... The dreams of others, well, that's not what the fun flex is all about. So, Fairy, you understand, yes, the reason why. Why am I here? That's the question she asked me during the interview. Now I think I understand. I came here today looking for hope. Hope I could do more with my life than compromise. So the word I could get and go with the flow. Everyone I've met today is full of hope. Gamers chasing scores, people following their passions. Nobody here is willing to give up on their dreams. Not even you, Gavin. To know we're better than this, Gavin. We don't settle. We chase after our hopes and dreams. And won't accept anything less. I... I see... Apologies. Safari... 
Miss Francine of Grove Street. I apologize. It's difficult to balance my idealism against my realism some days, but I know in my heart I need to err on the side of idealism, even if my brain screams in protest. I can assure you, you are still keen to work here, right, Safiri? I don't even hesitate before replying. Absolutely. Gavin fetches a nearby s short stack of forms. Fill out these tonight, hand them in to me first thing in the morning. And welcome to the funplex. Welcome to the family, I'd say. You know, back in my day, we'd get matching tattoos, but since you've all become so pussified me at 20, I had to compromise and just give you a handshake. I'm sure you'll fit in just fine, Safiri. Well, this be with that bush. One bus ride later, and it's home again. Home again. Jiggity jig. Juniper, already home from work, bounds over eagerly to interrogate me on my day. So, how'd it go? What's going on with this new? Why do you smell like cheese? It, uh, it went well. Well, or well. Really well. Your little app came through, despite being terrifyingly omniscient and just a little bit unnerving. You forgot to mention adorable! I, I did not say any such thing. Oh, that's normal. I'm so glad to hear things worked out. You even came home with a smile like when you were a lifeguard. Eh? I, oh, I guess I am smiling. Interessante. By the way, there's just one teensy weensy little question I have for you. What up? Why exactly did you order a giant crate full of pizza bagels? Bro, what? I didn't order no motherfucking pizza bagels. Do I look like the security guards from Code Men on YouTube from Purple Eyes? What a fuck? No! Um, did I neglect to mention that part of the terms and conditions? On the plus side, I know what I'm having for lunch tomorrow. but a crate of pizza bagels. And that's level one of Arcade Spirits complete. Trophy earned! Put your quarter up! Hey, look! You also won a prize. You'll get one of these for each level you clear, plus some extras for various endings and other hidden thingies. Now let's see your score. Looks like you're really hitting it off with Naomi. You've proved to be a gentle, sweet, and compassionate soul. Also, you've scored 5,950 points. Nice! Keep talking with people and your score will go up and go up, 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 Today's pizza fact is, Americans eat approximately 100 acres of pizza each day, or 350 slices per second. Wow! Do you want to save your game before proceeding to level 2? Yes. However... I don't see the screen because I'm blocking it with my hand.
I don't know what level 2 is, because we're about to go to... Well, shit, hold on. Ah, there we go. And return into the title screen. So, guys, that is, in essence, after two streams, Arcade Spirits. Now, I'm not going to say we're going to do this game all the time, all the time, but for a vibe day thingy, I think this is going to be just, we play this off and on, especially for days where I don't feel like doing too much button mashing, I don't feel like paying too much attention, and just going with the flow for a game that I never really looked into, I did not have any immediate interest in, but I want to see develop more and more. With that being said, like I said, uh, when I wake up tomorrow morning, we're going to be doing some Lost Judgment for approximately, I'm hoping, two hours. Maybe it'll be less, because I have a lot to do tomorrow. I have a lot of laundry I need to clean up. I have to eat, and I have to do a lot of other things. But I do want to get back into streaming, where I want to, A, see if I can hit the new goal I have in mind of 500 followers because we reached 250 where I was originally going to stop 250 followers but now I want to actually develop further we want to see where we can go with this uh, after that since I'm trying to stream more and more I will have an official stream schedule this March which means your boy might actually be back on his bullshit. So this will be fun. This will be crazy. This will be amazing. And I can't wait to go on a further journey with you guys into the unknown visage that he's streaming. So with that said and done... I will just see you guys tomorrow morning with some lost judgment because your boy is too busy being just, you know, exhausted from adulting too much. And, uh, yeah, you guys just have a good rest of your night. I would be raiding someone, but who to raid because too many people I know are streaming and I don't feel like going through a bunch of different options and so forth and so on so uh, yeah you guys have a good night I'm gonna go to bed